I ranked every single mini after the balance changes with the help of 13 pros. Thank you. So let's get started on the F tier, the mini that you should avoid, which is the Pekka. He has such a slow attack speed and there are just way better 4 elixir minis out there, which I will get to that in a bit. But moving up to the C tier, these minis are weak but they are useful in some scenarios, starting with the Magic Archer. Yes, I know he has been reworked, but he's still quite weak. There are a few decks running him, which, which is why he's like high C tier. But his shots are just too inconsistent, especially his third star where the shots split into three. Just too inconsistent. And there's really no reason to pick the Magic Archer over the E Wiz, which is way better. Next, the Lumberjack. He gets overshadowed by the Healing Ranger, which can not only increase hit speed, and it can also heal. And the Royal Ghost really just replaced him at that support free elixir melee mini. Next we got the Prince, now he is still used in some clash decks but he's just not as impactful in this meta, simple as that. Next we got the Wizard, despite the HP buff he just does not do much. He's overshadowed by the Ice Wizard which can do area damage with his second star and slow enemies so that's just way better. Then we got the Barbarian and the Swordsman. There's not really a need to use them because the Royal Ghost can do more damage and go invisible and they're easily killed by the Giant Skeleton which is quite popular. Next we got the Mini Pekka. His Dissipate is still quite useful which is why he's like high C tier. We already have the Royal Ghost as a free elixir damage dealer. The Ice Wizard is just gonna make it almost useless. And of course the Ice Wizard is quite popular. Moving on to the Miner. He's so easily countered. Just place the Mini at the back and it'll just destroy the Miner. Next we got the Fisherman. The risk of the Fisherman outweighs the benefits. If he pulls nothing, he's completely useless. And we got the Musketeer. Now her knockback can be useful, but he is still overshadowed by the e -Wiz, which can stun way better and just offers a better package. And finally we got the Guard and the Knight, the two Alexa tanks. In the last meta they are mainly used to like tank archer shots, but now archer obviously is nerfed, so in turn they kind of lost their purpose too. But they are decent tanks, but they just have no place in this meta. Moving up to the B tier, these average minis can work well in some decks. Starting with the Archer. Despite the nerfs, it's still a decent counter to the e or Dark Goblin, so it's usable, but just not nearly as good as her glory days. Mega Knight. His stun is still very useful, especially after the buffs, especially if you upgrade him to his second star, that like the entire board gets stunned basically. But he's still overshadowed by the giant skeleton. Moving on to another tank, the golden giant. He is a great counter to Wave Master and the Ewis with his first star. But again, he's just overshadowed by the giant skeleton. Moving on to the Spirit Goblin and the Bowler. These clash abilities just aren't as impactful anymore because this meta relies on that long term sustain as we see minis like the Witch, the Dark Goblin, the e -Wiz. Like these all rely on long term sustain and that but they still can change interactions which sometimes is important just not nearly as important as last meta. Then we got the Valkyrie. Honestly, very underrated mini. It's very good against the Rogue Ghost and the Witch especially with her second star boast. The only thing that's bad about the Valkyrie is just that she doesn't have enough hit speed. Buff the Owl to and she'll probably be busted. And last but not least, the Giant Skeleton. is probably your go-to tank in this meta. So he's like very, very high tier, like almost A tier. But he's just not good versus the Wave Master or the Archer Queen because obviously Archer Queen is long range, so the bomb doesn't really do much, and the Wave Master will just super away before the bomb activates. Now moving up to the A tier, these are very strong minis, and I would definitely recommend using them. Starting with the Witch, she is so annoying to deal with, and you can easily overwhelm your pushes. The only thing that keeps her from the S tier is that she's not as hard to counter. 
because anything with both abilities can do well against the witch. Next up we've got the battle healer. Her rework means that she gets her super more frequently now, so it will keep your melee push healed up, which is why he is very very popular in monk or shield maiden decks that need this heal to sustain. Then we've got the ice wizard. He is so great at countering melee heroes such as the wave master and the monk, and when he gets his second star, he can also target the royal ghost next to your targets too, which means the royal ghost cannot cycle his invisible quickly enough, which means you can kill the royal ghost before he turns invisible again. So such a versatile good mini to use. And then we got the healing ranger. Again, he, her heal just keeps your push going and she is very often used with the battle healer just because they can provide so much heal. So you often see those two minis in combination in like a monk decks. And last but not least, the dark goblin. I'm sure you've seen the clips of Dark Goblin just going absolutely ham, 1v4 in the entire board. That is how good he is. He can carry one round if you use him correctly, so definitely would recommend using that. To the La Creme of the Crop, the S tier, the best minis, you should definitely use at least one of these. Starting with the e -Wiz. he can't stun lock, but He's pretty close. If the enemy has no witch, a 2 star e -wiz will destroy everyone, they will be like unstoppable. But even to explain more, like you've probably seen like a ton of e -wiz decks and seen how e -wiz carries. So moving on to the best mini in this meta goes to the newest mini, the Royal Ghost. I'm sure you've seen clips of the 3 star Royal Ghost just going invisible almost the entire time. I've experienced that, you've probably experienced that. His clash ability plus his second star invisible plus his boast heal just means that he can clear the entire board. He is such a versatile many and he is so so strong, so OP, needs a nerf, use him right now. So is there anything in this trailer that you would disagree? Tell me in the comment section below and if this video hits 50 likes I will do a tier list of all the heroes. In the meantime check out this video of me breaking 7 world records. Yes, they are absolutely crazy.